Hello everyone, this is Teacher Manager Light Academy. Welcome to our e-learning platform. Don't forget to subscribe for the videos and enjoy. So, in today's lesson, we are going to focus still on measurements. We did uh, some introduction about measurement, so we are also going to continue with measurement. So, in the previous video, I talked about two terms. That was uh, measurement and then estimation. So, under estimation, we were able to find out the difference between measuring and the, and the estimating. So, measuring, we say this is the actual uh, taking of the measurement. Then, estimating is just, you don't have the measuring instrument as per se, but you are trying to find out, oh, trying to just give an answer, oh, guess, it is like guessing. So, but you must have a clear information or a clear uh, view of what actually measuring is for you to be able to estimate. So in the previous video still, I gave you a, an activity and everyone was, was supposed to do some conversion. So conversion of units is basically trying to uh, convert from one unit to another unit. For you to be able to do the conversion very well, you must know the metric sentence. It is just a clue that can help you to uh, remember the metric system very well. So in my sentence here, I know many of you have heard of this sentence, King Henry's daughter, this one now highlights the unit, drunk coil me. So if the unit in that case is meters, it will be King Henry's daughter, Mary, drunk, called me. This is just a proof that always helps us to remember what the metric system is in that case. So, this one will help you to ascertain or find out how many, for example, kilometers are in decameters. How many kilometers are in centimeters and how many it can also be how many hectometers are in millimeters so in that case if this is millimeter hectometer decameter meters themselves decimeter centimeter and meters lastly so if we are to find out how many meters are in one kilometer so we shall say one Zero, zero, zero. So this one tells you that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. This is what I'm talking about. One kilometer now contains 1,000 meters. You can also find out how many, for example, set meters are in one meter. So you just come here where you see meters, you write one there, and then the zero. Zero. This one tells you that they are actually 100 centimeters in one meter. 100 centimeters in one meter. So now we can still continue to our example. So we can try out the example here. So for the example here, we want to find out how many centimeters are in one meter. So when you look at our metric clue sentence, if this is me, meter, 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 meter. So these are the centimeters and this is meter. So we are comparing two centimeters and meters. So you write a one there a zero, a zero there. This one tells you that there are a hundred centimeters in one meter. Then you are good to go. Then in the second example here, we want to find out how many millimeters are in 4.25 centimeters. 
So your job is to look for in the metric clues sentence. Where are the centimeters and where are the millimeters? Okay. So we have millimeters here and centimeters here. How many millimeters are in 4.25 centimeters? We want to find out how many millimeters, I mean, yeah, centimeters are in millimeters. So in one centimeter, we have only 10 millimeters. Why? We just write the one here and the zero there. So in one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So the question is, how many millimeters are in 4.25 centimeters? I hope everyone can see the question. How many millimeters are in 4.25 centimeters? So what you do here is, because we are looking for this as, as our unknown, you just go small plan. This times this will be equal to this times this. So x will be equal to 4.25 times 10 giving you 42.5 millimeters so we are going to go this one is now clear that we have 42.5 millimeters in 4.25 centimeters and it is very clear that in this case that Centimeters are bigger than millimeters. So we can, this one is suggesting that centimeters are bigger than millimeters. In the third example, we are asking ourselves how many centimeters are in 0 0.25 kilometers? So now the question we must pose here of the centimeters. And the kilometers, which one is big? Which one is a bigger unit? The answer is obvious that kilometers are bigger than centimeters. So in your clue statement, you have King Henry's daughter Mary drank cold milk. Kilometer, hectometer, decameter, decimeter, centimeter, and then Millimeter. So we are comparing kilometers and centimeters. So you write here 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, until you reach centimeters. This one is suggesting that in one kilometer, we have 100,000 centimeters. Isn't that beautiful? So one kilometer contains 100,000 centimeters. So, how many centimeters now are in 0 0.2560 kilometers? So, we look, the, 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 we ask ourselves, how many centimeters are in 0 0.256 kilometers? So you do the cross multiplication. This times this will give you this times this. So in that case, you have x being equal to 0 0.256 times 100,000. So in that case, if you don't have a calculator, you can always do this. Divide by 1,000 times 100. So, uh, we do the, the, the cancellation. So, that one will be 2600 zero, zero centimeters. So, we have 25,600 centimeters in 0 0.2560 kilometers. Let us also talk about the first example here. The problem here is we want to now convert from decimeter to 
Decameter means to decimeter. Capital D stands for deca, and then uh, small d stands for deci. So we want to convert from a bigger unit to a small unit. So when you look at our metric sentence, we can identify that data is around here, so we write the one here, zero, zero. So the question is now, how many decimeters are in decameters? So we have 100 decimeters in one decameter. So, how many decameters are in 367.5 decimeters? So the question is, how many decameters are in 367.5 decimeters? So for us to be able to do that, to uh, cross multiply, we shall have this times that, that is 100x being equal to this times this, which is equal to 367.5. We want the value of x alone, divide through by 100. So this one is 0, carry it, carry it. Then this one becomes 3.6. 75 decimeters. So, with the examples that we have we've tried out together, we want to still continue with, with the, another quantity called area. So, this is a common word. You find very many people talking about area of that, area of that, the area of the geometry box, the area of a duster, the area of my shoe, the area of the football pitch, the area of the TV screen, and so forth. So, the major question here is, how much space is occupied by an exercise book per se? We can also ask another question. How much space is occupied by a geometry box? At home you are wondering, how much space is uh, occupied by the computer, the TV, the tablet you have at home, your phone, and all those things. So even here, we can still now understand what the area is. How do you even measure it? So to be able to answer all those questions, another point of area is, is required, and area can be measured in square meters. So every unit of length has a corresponding unit of area, and these are some of the corresponding units of area. The first one is the square centimeter, and those are the units, small c, small m, squared. Then we can also talk about the square millimeter, we can also talk about the square kilometer, and then the square mile land. This one is mainly used by the civil, the quantity surveyors. This one is mainly used by those people who are trying to uh, find out how big a chunk of land is. So we can use the square uh, miles. Now, these are some of the different shapes. I think you can see. In color yellow here, we have a square. In color red, we have a circle. And in color uh, green, we have a rectangle. And a triangle. You cannot find out, or you cannot know, the area of those shapes unless you take a few measurements. And the measurements can be taken in centimeters, can be taken in meters, can be taken in kilometers, and can be taken in what? In square meters, for example. So, we have two shapes here. We have, the first one is a square, and the second one is a rectangle. I'm saying these shapes can have the same area, even when they are not the same. They can have the same area, or they can have different areas. For us to be able to ascertain or find out how big the area is, there is a formula that you can use. We always multiply the breadth or the width, 
and the length. This one, in this case, this is the length, and that is the bread is there, or the width. So, these two shapes can have the same area, even when they are not the same. For example, this is the formula of finding the area. So, can we find the area of this square here? In that case, the length or the side is 4, and another side is 4. The area there will be 4 times 4, you get 16 square meter. Remember, you cannot tell you or me, we cannot tell that the area is 16 square meter unless you take uh, measurements and then use that formula. Can we also find the area of the rectangle there? The formula is length times width. The length here is 8 and the width is 2 meters. So when you catch it there, you still get 16 square meters. Oh, this one is getting uh, interesting. You see, this is a square and this is a rectangle, but it's both have the same areas. So even at home, maybe you are taking a pizza, or you have a cup, or you have a chapati, those shapes there can have the same area, even when they are not the same. So, what the area is very interesting. People who are uh, cultivating chunks of land, for you to be able to get uh, a handsman, someone who, who is going to cultivate your land, you must, he will ask you how big is the land. So you must know that my land is say, uh, 250 square miles. You can, some people can even measure the land in hectares or in acres. So quantity area is very important for us. So you can still continue appreciating some of the areas at home and the measurement as per se. So this is our e-learning platform. You can always go and visit. Don't forget to subscribe. This is teacher manager, like Takadi.